Hi everyone, welcome back to the Photoshop channel. When managing inventory in Odoo, a common challenge is figuring out the best way to track products accurately, especially when you're dealing with high volumes or serialized items. That's where lot numbers and serial numbers come in. In this tutorial, we'll break down the difference between the two and walk you through how to set them up in Odoo 18 to improve traceability and streamline your warehouse operations. So let's dive in and see how each one works right in our database. Let's start in the inventory app. From the main dashboard, go to configuration, then settings, and scroll down to the traceability section. Here, make sure the lots and serial numbers feature is enabled. Now let's break down the difference between lot numbers and serial numbers. A lot number is used to track a group of identical items that were received or produced under the same conditions, like a batch made on the same day or a shipment from a specific supplier. All those items share the same lot number, which helps with things like quality checks, inventory audits, and product recalls. For example, if you receive 200 jars of honey from one production run, they all be grouped under a single lot number. Now over on the product form, you will see the product type is set to goods. This is important because only storable products can be tracked by lots or serial numbers. Also make sure the track inventory checkbox is enabled and choose by lots from the dropdown. Now let's talk about serial numbers. Unlike lots, a serial number is assigned to a single unique item even if other items are exactly the same model. This kind of tracking is essential for products that need individual monitoring, for things like warranty claims, maintenance history, or proof of ownership. Think TVs, phones, laptops, anything where each unit needs its own ID. Just like before on the product form, confirm the product type is goods, but this time under track inventory, select by unique serial number. Now let's see how to assign lot and serial numbers during the receipt. I've already created a purchase order for 100 jars of honey and three laptops. So we can jump straight into the receipt process. Go ahead and click into the receipts and open the one related to this purchase order. Now we need to record the required lot and serial numbers for these items. Until that's done, we won't be able to validate the receipt. Let's start with the honey jars, which are tracked by lot. Click the details button next to that line. If all 100 jars came from the same batch, we could simply enter one lot number, like lot HN01, and assign the entire quantity to it. But let's say they came from two different production runs, 60 jars from lot HN01 and 40 jars from lot HN02. So on the first time we'll set the quantity to 60. Then click add a line, enter lot HN02 and set that to 40. Once that's done, click save. Now on to the laptops, which are tracked using serial numbers. Just like before, click details, this time on the laptops line. In order you got three ways to assign serial numbers. Manually by clicking add a line and typing in each one. Import using import serial slash lots to paste a list. And auto generate by selecting generate serial slash lots. You'll use the third option here. In the first serial number, you can set the type of formatting to use for these serial numbers. I'll enter something like lap 001. Since we're receiving three laptops, I set the quantity to three. Then I'll hit generate, and just like that, auto creates lap 001, 2, and 3 automatically. Once everything looks good, click save, and now we're ready to validate the receipt. Once validated, we can view the full traceability report by clicking the traceability smart button at the top. This gives us a detailed log of which lots and serial numbers were received, their quantities, their origin, location, everything is now properly tracked. Now let's see how traceability works when selling these products. Head over to the sales app and create a new quotation. We'll start by adding a customer 
Let's go with deco edict. Next, add the products we previously received. Say 10 jars of honey and one laptop. Once the order is ready, click confirm. Then open the delivery using the smart button. Here, if needed, you can click details again, say on the laptop line, and manually select which serial number to deliver. But for this example, we'll skip that step and go ahead with validate. Now click on the traceability smart button, and here's what we'll see. The 10 jars of honey were taken from lot HN01, and the laptop was assigned serial number lab001. Just like that, Auto gives you full visibility into the origin of every product leaving your warehouse, ensuring clear, accurate, and reliable traceability. And that's how you manage lots and serial numbers in Auto 18. Whether you're tracking entire batches or individual items, this feature helps you stay organized, improve traceability, and maintain total control over your inventory operations. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more audio tutorials right here on the Codeshop channel. See you in the next one.